Hello students! Welcome to another fun learning experience in health here at Anubansom Det Prawanarat School online class. My name is Teacher Marco and I hope that everyone is safe and healthy. For today's lesson, we are going to talk about the reproductive system. Are you ready? Are you excited? Great! Let's go! The human body has a reproductive system to guarantee the continued existence of the human race. The human reproductive system starts working when our bodies reach sexual maturity during puberty. The reproductive of an organism, also known as the genital system, is the biological system made up of all the anatomical organs involved in sexual reproduction. The major function of the reproductive system is to ensure survival of the species. Let's go to the important organs of the reproductive system. Males and females have different reproductive organs, which differently as follows. Testes are male reproductive organs. They produce the male gametes called sperm. Ovaries are pair of organs in the female reproductive system. They produce the female's gametes called ova or egg cells. Now that we already know the reproductive system of male and female, let's have the function of the reproductive system. The human reproductive system begins to work when the body reaches puberty. Males typically begin to produce sperm around the ages of 12 to 13, while females typically begin to produce eggs around the age of 12. Let's have first the reproductive system of male. Seminal vesicle produce nutrients such as proteins, vitamin C, and fructose to nourish sperm. It also produces fluid that provides optimal condition of sperm. Vas deferens is a duct that transports sperm to the seminal vesicle after it is stored in the epididymis. Epididymis functions to store sperm that are produced in the seminiferous tubules of the testes. Testes are two glandular organs that functions to produce sperm. Each testis contains seminiferous tubules where sperm cells are formed. Scrotum functions to control the temperature of testes. It keeps the testicles 3 to 5 degrees Celsius lower than the body temperature, which is optimal for sperm growth. Prostate gland functions to produce a slightly alkaline fluid and secrete it to the urethra. The prostatic fluid mixes the seminal fluid to reduce acidity of the vagina, creating the optimal condition for sperm viability. Let's have the female reproductive system. Fallopian tube is a pathway for a fertilized egg to travel from the ovary to the uterus. Ovary functions to release the egg. There are two ovaries. Uterus is a place where a fertilized egg is implanted and a baby is developed. Lastly, we have vagina. It's a pathway for sperm to get into the uterus and for a baby to leave a woman's body. It is also the route for a menstrual blood to leave the body. Always remember 
that reproduction is an important process for every living organism because living organisms need to multiply to form new life. This process occurs with the reproductive organs. During this process, a new generation comes into existence. Therefore, this process is not only essential to life, but it's essential for the continued existence of the species on Earth. I hope you learned something from today's discussion. Thank you for watching. This is Teacher Marco. Have a great day and don't forget to smile. See you again in our next online class.